Hey guys, it's me Tilly, and today I'm back with a format that you guys seem to enjoy last time around, so let's talk about future content. This one is actually a rather close by one, because on the Korean server, it was part of the same update as the Ragnahim raid was, which we obviously got three weeks ago. So I'm expecting this new activity to go live next week, October 20th, but if Nexon happens to delay it, I at least expect it to go live late November. Before I jump into any of the details regarding this new activity though, I'm gonna do a very shameless plug for both my Twitch and my Discord, links to both of them down below in the description, where any player is welcome to just talk about the game or maybe reach out for some help in case there's something that you're not sure about, in case there's something that you want to know about. But now let's actually jump into today's topics, which is gonna feature both general information about this new piece of content, the rewards you get out of it, and then some personal opinion from me, how I think about it. You will obviously find timestamps to all of them down below in the description, so let's start with general information. And I'm gonna shout out all of my Genshin Impact players up there first because it's gonna be an activity that you are probably familiar with by now but more to that later let me first explain how it works like the fundamental information i have to kind of disappoint all of you group play fanatics because it's again gonna be a solo difficult content just like einlacker and it's actually copying a bunch of the einlacker um themes where as i said it's gonna be solo you won't be able to use hp potions you will not be able to use your artifact or your transformation your stats will be scaled so gear is less important than actual skill and there's actually gonna be two different versions of this new activity i'm gonna yeah it's gonna be called tower of mirage by the way i don't know if i if I mentioned it, at least that's what uh, we got as a translation on the official Discord for now. The name might change. However, as I said, two different um, versions of it, the normal and the challenge one. You will have to complete the normal one in order to unlock the challenge one. But I'll come to the challenge one later. Let me first finish off the normal one. The normal one consists out of 30 floors and... It's gonna be a boss rush, similar to the Abyssal Arena, but without all of the minor enemies. It will just be you versus one enemy versus one boss per floor. Whenever you take down a boss, you will be able to select one out of three buffs or effects, I wanna call them. You will be able to maybe heal yourself if you took damage. As I said, HP potions will not be a thing. You will be able to increase your speed for the duration of the um of the tower and stuff like that so that's gonna be pretty cool and again all of you genshin impact players i guess you may be familiar with that <laughs> you will be able to depart seven times per week for this uh, activity however the normal difficulty can only be done once per month so all of the rewards that i'm gonna tell you about in just a second are basically monthly rewards your progress, however, on the normal difficulty is saved across runs. So let's pretend you start on the first week. On your first departure, you get to clear seven floors and then you die because, who knows, you can't use HP potions and you may run off HP. If you then depart for a second time during this monthly rotation, you will get to join on the seventh floor. So your progress on normal difficulty is basically saved. It's a month long journey basically where you can or where you are supposed to fight your way through all of the 30 floors. Once you basically achieve that, you can use your remaining departures to then go into the challenge mode, which again, I'm going to cover soonish. For now, let's talk about the rewards you get on the normal difficulty, however. There will be a per floor reward similar to the Abyssal Arena, where you get EXP, Gold and AP. None of them are really something you need to write home about, because it's a monthly activity. If that was a daily reward, it would be pretty good, because I think the entire run 
evens out to around 600-700k gold, which is a decent amount. But as I said, since it's monthly, it's nothing that you will make big stonks off of. However, in footage that I've seen, people are able to get around 250k out of a single challenge mode. Again, challenge mode I'll cover in just a second. On top of these per floor rewards, you will also get bigger rewards every fifth floor that you clear on the normal difficulty again. And as I said, since you will join on the last floor where you died on on normal, you will not be able to get this reward more than once per month. So let's actually go briefly through all of these six rewards you're able to get per month on the normal difficulty. On the fifth floor that you clear, so basically the first reward, you will get a sealed destiny box where I think it's the same one that you get from the weekly temporal mission sometimes, where you're able to pick between Triumph and Seal of Bravery and some others, but the other ones are usually not as good. So there's going to be another way for people to farm Triumph medals for their first artifact, which is pretty cool. The second reward on the 10th floor is you'll be able to pick between two different things, which is going to be either five daily tickets or one monthly ticket. The five daily ones, they might get you closer to a quality boost since AT equal one quality boost. However, the one monthly ticket, which converts into free Damascus steel, might be the better choice. The third reward after the 15th floor is, in my opinion, the, the best one, especially for me, <laughs> because you will either get Mysterious or Abyssal Shards. I'm not quite sure if you are in charge of picking which one you want to get or if it's just flat out random. However, you will receive a random amount, one, two or three, grade one shards. That's all I can tell you. The fourth reward, again, I'm pretty sure, or I'm sure, that you can pick which one of the following four you want. It's either gonna be a 30-day shared storage coupon, it's gonna be a Gubinu stone, which you have to use within 30 days, 2k AP, or 3 Damascus steel, where I think, aside from the shared storage coupon, all of the other ones can have their use. Let's go over to the 5th reward of the 25th floor, where you get to pick between either 10 daily tickets now, so it's twice as many, it's actually 1 8th of a quality boost. It's either gonna be a 10 or a pack of 10 departure licenses that you will have to use within 30 days, or a 3 day departure boost that you have to use within 30 days. The departure boost actually evens out to 15 licenses instead of 10 on the pack if you're able to make use of it like perfectly if you're able to use five on the first and the second day the third sorry the fourth reward would be a premium enhancement rune which is really huge for new players because as i said the content is not scaling with your with your gear um you might actually be able to get a premium enhancement rune sooner than you're currently able to right now the fastest way or the most efficient way for you as a new player to get it is waiting 14 days for the guild seals to stock up until you can buy it however you may be able to get this one after your first week of playing if you're really dedicated on progressing on this tower so that's gonna be pretty hype on the last reward i'm kind of disappointed because all of the other ones are outshining this one in my opinion but you will either be able to pick an ancient title which are basically titles that cannot be obtained nowadays anymore a potion that lets you increase your uh, transformation points or basically the skill points required to update your dark knight or your paladin skills a bigger seal destiny box where again you might be able to get more triumph medals sooner for your first artifact and a coupon that lets you reset your departures for redeemers where usually you're only able to get rewards five sorry four times a week per redeemer with this coupon you may be able to get it six times if you happen to use it on the same redeemer now i actually want to talk about the challenge mode which i kind of kept secret until now because the challenge mode might just be what makes the entire um, 
activity worth it, at least for more experienced players. Because as I said, you will be able to get around 250k gold per run. The challenge mode works different from the normal one, where you don't start on the on the floor that you failed on. You will have to go from 1 to 30 in one go. Which I think I've seen footage of people soloing it took around 20 to 30 minutes. And you get 250k for it. <laughs> I'm not sure that's the most time efficient way of making money, but in theory, if you are able to clear normal on your first run, you can then do six more runs on that week and then 21 more runs evening out to a grand total of 27 runs that you can do the challenge mode which then again would be some million of gold but again i don't know if it's very time efficient or fatigue efficient because it also costs i think 16 fatigue but if you're an end game player fatigue usually is not a problem for you Okay, as a final note for today's video, I want to briefly mention how I'm feeling about this piece of content and spoiler alert or disclaimer, sorry, I should have given this way earlier. Um, anything that I said in this video is not 100% set in stone because I was using some Korean sources and trying to translate some of it myself, trying to rely on uh, Korean people translating it into English. And most of the information were from the Korean test server. It's possible that they already changed something about it on Korea. But then again, if we get the tower, I'm pretty sure we will get the not updated version. Or the not up to date version to Korea. So the one that we will get will probably be very close to what I said in this video. However, if you are playing on the Korean server, or if you know better than I do, feel free to spam the comments down below that the word i was looking for sorry um with everything that i got wrong that i got twisted or if you don't know better just let me know if you are looking forward to it me i am actually looking forward to it yeah when i first heard about it i was pretty bummed about the next activity being kind of monthly gated when it comes to rewards because right now I would like to be able to do something else on a daily other than spamming raids. However, thinking about how decent the rewards actually are and that you may be able to enjoy the challenge mode after finishing normal, I think I'm actually kind of okay with this piece of content. Um, also, shout out to um, whoever I stole this footage of that you... <laughs> We're seeing in the in the background all the time i will have a link to the full video down below in the description so definitely go check it out if you care about a full run of the challenge mode difficulty with that being said i really hope you enjoyed this future content video and yeah i hope i'm gonna see you in my next one i hope you have a great day and bye